Hello, and welcome to Stacey O Designs. Um, today I'm back doing sublimation, and I am making socks. Um, super easy and fun to do. I'll just give you a little picture quick. Cute, right? For my chicken lovers. Um, they are just, they're from Dollar General. They're called Just Be. They come in a pack of three and they are 96% polyester. So this is how I do my socks. I have this little board. This is not a professional jig. This is just a board from, I don't know, maybe Michael's or something, just a board. It's about um, three, a little bit over three inches wide. Does it say on here? Yeah, it's exactly three inches wide. 3.1, I'm sorry, it's 3.1 inches wide. I just take my sock. Slip it over. Make sure everything's even. They conveniently have kind of press marks already for you so you know that it's perfectly even. I'm doing it on both sides of the ankle. So I have that ready to go. Um, you always, I don't have the handle for this, but you always want to give it a good little lint roll before you do it, just to get off any lint, because if you press lint, it winds up looking blue. So you don't want that in your design. Okay, so I have my chickens, one for each side, um, flipped when I printed them so that the chicken face is always pointing towards the toes. My heat tape. Oh, I probably should line it up with where this one was. So you have matching socks. There. Right about there. tape is fighting with me. Okay. Always check and double check, make sure everything's level and even. Um, I just need this, so I am actually going to rip off the part that Rip off the part, it has like a little ink on it from a little bead through, so I'm ditching that part because I don't want it to get on my feet. Mm -hmm. And I'm pressing this at, let me see, 390 for 57 seconds. Um, and again, if you've seen any other my videos, my press runs a little bit hot. So if you have a very accurate press, probably more like 395. Um, for 60 seconds. So if you are looking at my hand, I burnt myself really badly on a heat gun. So please ignore this and my disaster around it. But I've been working a lot today. Um, last time I tried to shoot this video, my phone died. So I thought I would hit record again for this. So we're at about 25 seconds. I'm gonna pull up my heat press and um, peel, flip it, and do the other side so that I have matching front and back socks. So you can see very little ink is left on the paper. As always, I'm using A-sub paper. However, I did just buy um, 
is it text print? I think I just purchased text print, so I'm really excited to try that. So now I'm gonna flip it over and do this side. Um, I try and line up the, the chicken heads. So, oh. That looks like about lined up. Again with my heat tape. Again, I'm doing 390 for 57 seconds. It's pretty light pressure. Um, you don't really need a whole lot of pressure to get the ink out, really of any material. And um, I also don't like dealing with press lines. So if you can see the edge of this, I don't cut my paper. I tear my paper. And it gives me like a fibrous, like the inside part of the paper. And so it's fibrous. So that part does not leave press marks. And also by choosing the lightest pressure with the most results, um, doesn't give me press marks. Cause that's the worst. You can't get them out. I mean, you can, there's a couple of different techniques where people pull, um, but why deal with it if you don't have to? This is, this is my technique. And again, I'm using, um, Cobra inks, which I just love. I love everything about Cobra inks. I love their customer service. I love their ink. I love how it prints. Um, I love a sub paper too, but I was, I ordered something from Condi and I needed paper. So I thought I'd just try it and they don't carry a sub, but I hear lots of great things about text print. So hopefully next week I'll try that. Okay. So here, oh, hot is my other sock. You got a little press mark actually from the bottom of, of this, but you can barely see it. And you're not gonna be able to see it in one second. So this is how you get press marks out. You just give them a little stretch. If they're not super deep press marks. And there we go. We have our cute little O'Cluckno socks for my chicken lady. Super cute, ankle socks, soft, vibrant, love them. All right, so make sure you subscribe to Stacio Designs and hit that bell button because I am going to be doing a bunch of videos um, this coming week, so make sure you get notified for that. And please feel free to message me with any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, I love answering everybody's questions and I love seeing your projects. So have fun with this. Easy, quick, moneymaker, and super fun to wear. Have a great day.